Alright mates, how's it going? In today's video, chapter 12 of Illidan by William King. There's a whole three POV characters in this one, so let's go! Illidan walked into his council chamber, with Akama following at his heels like a faithful little doggy. Akama had been doing everything possible to look like a loyal servant recently, mainly because he was concerned that Virus Dark Shadow's agents were watching him. But as they entered, all eyes were very much on Illidan, eyes filled with fear, because the Burning Legion had struck hard, Prince Kalthas had gone missing, and all in all, their war was not going very well. Illidan strode forward and inspected the map table in the middle of the room. There were little flags dotting almost every province of Outland. Each of these marks a new forge camp, Lord Illidan. The Burning Legion has set up bases all over and fortified them, but I've been putting together contingency plans to assault them and throw the demons back. And how exactly do you intend to do that? Each of those forge camps contains a transporter. They can be reinforced by demons at a moment's notice. Lord Illidan, we closed Magtheridan's portals with your aid. Surely we can close these. Every time we close a portal, another appears. Kill Jaden can draw upon near infinite forces. He toys with us. Lady Melanda gave a nervous giggle. Apparently, this conversation was not going the way she'd expected it to. You will lead us to victory, Lord. I have every faith in you. These new soldiers you've been forging, if they are all as strong as Varidus, Netherell, and Elandian, they'll surely be able to slaughter the demons. Illidan stared at Melanda for quite a while. She seemed to know an awful lot about the demon hunters. Had she been spying? Yeah, probably. All of the Illidari Council likely had spies in place. But how much had Melanda uncovered? The demon hunters represented the most important part of Illidan's plan, so secrecy was kind of essential. He couldn't risk the Nathrezim finding out what he was up to before he was ready to launch his attack. However, Illidan realised he had not actually shared his ultimate goal with anyone else, so it was probably his own fault that Melanda was aware of certain things. He'd need to be more careful around her in future. The betrayer then found himself wishing that Lady Vash was here. She was straightforward, loyal, but she was still in Zangamarsh, supervising the draining of the marshland. It was the first step towards controlling all of this shattered realm. If you control the water, you control the people. And if you control the people, then jobs are good. Illidan then switched his gaze over to Virus Dark Shadow. Have your agents found out anything concerning Kelthas's fate? They found the last camp of his army, but then nothing. Nothing? Nothing significant, my lord. No sign of a struggle? None. It's as if the prince just opened a portal and vanished. Seems to me like he doesn't want to be found. Illidan could hear what Virus was implying. Kelthas was a traitor. It was possible. Kiljaden had shown particular interest in the Blood Elf Prince, but if that was true, if Kelthas had indeed turned, he might have left spies behind, and some of them may well even be in this room. So Illidan decided to play it cool, in order to avoid making any of them wary. Let's not jump to any conclusions, Virus. Just find him. As you wish, Lord. Virus's eyes then flashed quickly over to Akama, which Illidan noticed. All of you are dismissed, except you, Dark Shadow. I would have words with you concerning the whereabouts of my F Shadow Song. So, all the other council members filed out. Akama paused in the doorway as if he wanted to say something, but then thought better of it and left as well. Meanwhile, Maev and Indra were riding an elevator up the side of Aldor Rise. Sarius was also present, although he wasn't in the elevator. He'd taken his bird form and was ascending with them. He was there to watch and observe. Maev didn't necessarily expect the Aldor to prove treacherous, but. Traitors are often found in the most surprising places. As they reached the top, Maev felt like she definitely should have brought more guards with her. They were outnumbered up here. Some outdoor guards approached and greeted Maev. They didn't seem hostile, but they made it pretty clear that the warden was under observation, and then led her to the so-called Shrine of Unending Light. Blessings of the light upon you, Warden Shadowsong. I am Ishana, High Priestess of the Outdoor. I've been told that you would have words with me. I've come seeking the aid of those who follow the light. You seek to slay the one called the Betrayer? Or imprison him? Why? Because he's evil. Hmm. We do not have such strength that we can afford to throw it away assaulting the Black Temple. It is all we can do to hold our ground. And we serve other functions. Maya had another look around at the luxurious cushions, and she noted that Ishana herself was garbed in rich robes. Sometimes defeating evil means getting your hands dirty. And sometimes getting your hands dirty turns you to evil. In order to work with the light, you must be pure of heart. And you think I'm not. I think you do what you believe is right. What I do is right. Mm-hmm. So you're not going to help me. At this moment, I cannot. Cannot or will not. There are other struggles than your own, Warden Shadowsong. Some of them even more important. Nothing is more important than the overthrow of Illidan. Perhaps to you. 
we all do have different priorities. Once again, the Warden felt frustrated. Why was it so bloody difficult to get the people of Outland to see the importance of her mission? However, that thought was interrupted by a tingling sensation against her boob. It was from the stone that Akama had given her, and she was kind of grateful that he was trying to arrange a meeting, because she really didn't want to continue this shit conversation with Ashana anymore. I thank you for your time, and ask your permission to depart. But Maev didn't wait for Ashana's permission to depart. She just turned around and left, and felt really smug about it. A short time later, Maev was making her way towards her meeting with Akama. He'd arranged to meet her at the Refuge of the Broken, which was a rundown, stinky tavern in the lower parts of Shatrath City. And when she arrived, two Ashton guards that minded the door let her pass without comment. Great news! Prince Kalthash is missing, along with some of his army. It's likely that he's abandoned the betrayer. Well, if that's true, then Illidan has lost one of the great props to his power. May have let those words hang in the air. Akama had always refused to commit his people because Illidan was supported by Kalthas and Lady Vash. But now, Kalthas was out of the picture. Illidan may have found a new source of power. What is it? I'm not certain, which is why I wanted to talk to you. They're recruited entirely from your people. My people? Elves. Desperate, ruthless elves. With a grudge against the Burning Legion. He takes them and he kills them. What? He infuses them with fell magic. Most of them die during the process, and those that live are changed. There's something in them the reeks of the demonic. He's transforming elves into demons. He's remaking them in his own image. They get tattoos like his. He teaches them magic, and all of it happens behind closed doors. You must find out more on this. I'm doing my best, but this is difficult and dangerous work. If I ask too many questions, I may be found out. And if Illidan learns of our association, I'm worse than dead. I must move cautiously. Cautiously. It's always cautiously with you. You don't know what it's like. Every time I leave the Temple of Karabor, I have to make up some bullshit. I feel like I'm being watched. I feel like Illidan may already suspect something. It then dawned on Maev that she had been a little bit of a bitch. Akama was clearly frightened, and he had every reason to be. Look, it's not the first time tattooed fighters have appeared around the temple. There have been others like this before, but never this many. I don't like this at all. Illidan seems determined to create hundreds of these creatures, if not thousands. They could change the balance of power in Outland. Time is running out. Time is certainly running out. But without Kel'Thas' support, there's a chance to unseat him. Indeed. I will return to the temple and begin preparations. If we are to move, we must move quickly, before his new army is ready. Finally, this was the moment my ever had been waiting for. Some more time later, Akama arrived back at the Black Temple after his meeting with Maev. Meeting her was always nerve-wracking. She was so full of rage and hate. She really didn't seem to realize she turned herself into the betrayer's mirror image in her pursuit of him. Akama quickly made his way through the corridors until he reached the sanctuary of his people. His bodyguard gave him a warning sign, and as he entered, he understood why. Illidan was waiting for him inside. Ah, Akama, you've been hard to find today. I went to Ourobor Harborage. Just wanted to clear my head. You've been doing that a lot over the past few years. Walk with me to the refectory. It has been some time since we talked. I would learn more of these jaunts of yours. Illidan then guided Akama through to the Sanctuary of Shadows. Akama immediately noticed demons around the room moving into position, and great chains hanging from above. This did not seem like it was going to end in a pleasant conversation. And we're leaving it there! Maev just cannot seem to catch a break, can she? It's almost as if she's going to have to swallow her pride and seek help from someone she doesn't want help from or something. But in the next chapter, it's been a few weeks since the Demon Hunter ritual and Vandal has come on leaps and flips and bounds with his training. As usual, link in the description if you're interested in buying this book. Also, there's links to my Discord server and my Patreon page too. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, all of that bollocks. And all that's left to say is, thanks for watching and see ya!